we'll go ahead and navigate back to our home page here. And next we will talk about um, this next row. So this row here with our admin, our help, all of those different links. The first one here is this little plus sign is what we call the quick bar. Um, whether you have this appearing or not, again, depends on a configuration. So there's a configuration whether to show this, and it also will not show up until your administrators have tagged at least one process to the quick bar. Now, um, they will have the option to tag any process that they wish here. Uh, the most common process that the quick bar is used for is for timekeeping. So either your case time slip or um, outreach time slip or other time slip, just depending on which ones of those you utilize. Um, what this will do is whatever process we have linked to the quick bar will show us a link. So just like we're seeing this add case time here. And if I click on that link, it will start that process in a pop-up for me. So again, in this case, it happens to be a time slip. So if I enter my required fields here, I can go ahead and actually enter a time slip without navigating away from my home page or wherever I was in legal server. So I can save and create this time slip. Oh, and having a little issue with our funding code here, we don't have any valid for this particular case that I selected. But generally, um, apologies for that, but generally, uh, we would be able to just enter this time slip right from the pop-up. Uh, we would click Save, it would save our time, and we would never have to navigate away from the page that we were on in Legal Server. So again, we happen to be on our home page, but we could have been on a case profile, we could have been in the middle of an intake process, uh, we could have been in the middle of running a report. No matter where we are in Legal Server, we'll always see that quick bar if it's enabled and we'll always be able to complete whatever processes are tagged here in that pop-up that comes up there. Next over, we have our red search link. Uh, we will be talking more about this in our searching section in just a bit, but this essentially is where you'll see the list of options to search through Legal Server. Um, depending where you are in Legal Server, you may have a Views button here. Um, typically, if we're on our home page or a case profile and we have other views set up, you may see that here. Um, what that will allow you to do is just see your home page in a different view. Um, again, just like with case profiles, as we were talking about with our defaults earlier and our uh, user preferences, um, that's all related to the same thing here. Next to that, uh, called admin. Um, but only administrators will have that button. So if you're a general user and you don't see that, uh, that is to be expected, so not an issue. Next, we have our help bubble. Um, this is where you would go to be directed to the help site. So if you want to go over to our help site, which is just at help.legalserver.org, um, you can, again, click there. And I went ahead and opened it in a new tab, and that will open that up for you directly. And this is also where you would go, oops, apologies, didn't mean to click that again. Um, this is also where you would go if you had an issue with the site that needed our um, attention. So it wasn't a configuration issue or um, something that your administrator would handle, like that you were missing a value in your close reason drop down or something like that. Um, but if you come across an error in your site that's not allowing you to move on um, or, you know, looks like a bug, you can come up to help to support requests, and that will send in a ticket directly to our developers. So, again, that should be used very sparingly, only when there's a true issue in the site that you come across. You may also, um, and we don't have this set up in the demo site here, but you may also see an additional link here that says something like get help internal, um, or it may say specifically your administrator's name, um, you know, email, my administrator, something like that. And if you do have a link like that, clicking on it will automatically open up an email to your site administrators. And then lastly, in this stripe here, we have our timer. 
Um, and this, of course, is just a timer in Legal Server. Uh, it was also connected to the timekeeping module. So if I start a timer, and we'll just start a non-client timer here, it will show you, of course, that it's running based on the fact that we have a start and a pause versus a play. Um, it also, of course, will not look like it's running until we get to a minute here, but it will show you the time spent once it starts getting over a minute there. And what will happen with the timer is whenever I'm done with whatever that task is that I'm timing, so whether it's an intake process or a phone call with a client um, or drafting something, whatever my time is being spent for, I would then come back to my timer and I would use my stop button and I will stop the timer here. Um, again, I don't know if it's going to get all the way to a minute for us, which it hasn't, but um, what it will do is automatically open a time slip based on the timer that I've started, the type of timer. And it would have our time spent already filled out. So again, we didn't let this one run long enough to get even to a minute. But if we had, it would show us that minute or two that we had spent running that timer. So however long you let it uh, spin or run rather, will be filled into your time spent automatically. There is another question, which is, can you have more than one timer running? And uh, the answer is no. We can only have one timer running at a time. Um, what you can do is you can, for instance, start your non-client time uh, running, your timer. Um, let's say that we're you know, doing some other work, office work, something like that. And then um, if one of my clients calls, I can start the timer for that which will automatically pause my previous timer. So I can only have one running at a time, but I can have more than one up at the top here um, with one of or more of them paused. So only one can be actually active at a time, um, but you can have more than one paused up at the top here as well. 